We are gathered here today to talk about the mission. <laughs> and you guys are so mad <laughs> because it's almost done and this is our first vlog about it. Oh, we're so sorry guys. The two of us got done, or we just, we just, you know how everybody gets this time of year. We're just all, get it done, get it done. Ah! So we have been working really hard on this this last weekend. And uh, what you see here is basically all wall flats, the same way we've been making everything. Um, it's This is uh, made up of eight wall flats to be exact. There are three eight by fours on the bottom. There are two smaller five foot sections and then the top round piece, which is just a little four foot by two foot piece. And then you have a couple returns on each side to kind of give it some depth. All right, um, this door is actually a hollow core door that we found. And it was white. It was white. And I painted it. First, because that's, base, base that's, that's what I do. <laughs> and yeah, I painted it first because Chris is so fast sometimes. He just likes to get in there and then I'm like, no, but this turned out really good. I just have to go back and Put some brown on the things. We added these decorative handle, what are they? They're hinges. 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 Decorative hinges, the opposite of handles. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> hey, he, he teaches the, me everything. For the handle, we're gonna do the uh, idea that Gina had on the, the um, other door, last job we had, where we're just gonna take a wooden trowel float, handle. Yeah. Yeah, float and stick it on there. So See, I knew the name of that, that. one. <laughs> okay, so anyway, for uh to get you up to speed basically these are what we did is these are um foam bricks foam bricks that we cut to fit together um in the heat of the speed and passion of this whole thing Whoa. i just threw some wow. wood glue that's the, the most romantic thing you've ever said to me Whoa. <laughs> i'm glad i can be romantic um so anyway take lessons and it everyone. ends so anyway uh, what i was gonna say is i just grabbed a bottle of wood glue threw it on the back. I don't know if it really did anything. And then I took some three inch screws and screwed it in just to, long enough to hold it. And then what I did is when I mudded this whole thing with um, a mortar mix, like the tile, like a, um, it's good for uh, uh, sticking to plywood and that kind of thing. I just coated this and stuff so it's got like a hard coat. Hard coating. Yeah, it makes it kind of nice. Um, it's, it is really hard guys and it, and it also kind of helped glue this thing together and lock it down So it's not gonna come anywhere uh, or off So it's not gonna come <laughs> Woo, off. Oh man, you were yeah, like take a, like, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, take a breath So anyway, take a breath trim is still missing here. We still have to do the trim mm -hmm. And what we have planned for the back side of this is we're going to make a uh, um, Like a shadow box with some decorative shutters that have like some nice little decorative cut Pieces. Yeah, we're stealing that from old Tucson. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we took a we found a picture and uh, These were white And I painted them brown and then I'm gonna dry brush to make it look yeah, like wood grain. I have, a, I have one. Oh, so we got these balusters is a staircase uh, So I just cut it whoops Cut them and, and mounted that in and what's really cool is we basically framed this flat and then I made the second frame that these are attached to and just slid it right in and then put a couple screws in there. So that, that makes it nice and then now we'll trim it out. Um, the, every one of these places where you see the brick. <laughs> Thanks for the pointer. We did a uh, little brick pocket, a lot like what we did in the jail that you mm -hmm. saw. Yeah. So what I did is I cut out the Luan or the underling <laughs> and then I took another piece and capped it on the back side of the one by three, thus creating a little space. <laughs> and then I slid all these bricks in, got them kind of into place, cut them, whatnot, and uh, they still need to be painted and hard coated in some places. Where I we're gonna stick a bell up there, and yes. we're gonna carve that tonight. Chris and I are debating who's gonna do it. So, <laughs> just kidding. Well, you, I won't debate. I, I know. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, in the back, in again, the you back? see you see this hollow core door. You see 
just screwed it right to the uh, I fr right to the frame that's the exact same size mm -hmm. as the door. Uh, I've got the two jacks. I've got the, the three jills uh, safety cables, mm -hmm. much like on the saloon, just as a safety precaution. Just a safety to, uh, net. Take it's up not holding it. Yeah, we've got weights holding this thing on. There is uh, on these returns. We probably will take a piece of one by three and just kind of screw it at a forty-five to help brace that mm -hmm. to prevent it from wiggling around but uh, that's it pretty much it you can kind of see the back side of all those brick pockets that Whoa. we were talking about now if you look all the way up at the top I have a little platform if you wanted to mount some uh, like a cross or something we didn't we weren't sure if we we're gonna make that or not um, but it's always good to plan ahead that way you don't have to go back and do anything uh, you see a lot of screw tips and points um, normally I would grind all that off for safety, and but I don't think very many people are going to be coming back here, hopefully. I hope not. So, uh, let's go back around. So, aside from the bell, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to now start applying some stucco <laughs> to here uh -huh. and here. Yes, and, and it's going to be a different color than the jail. Yes. kind of like this gray color, but yeah, I don't like think it was gray. I think I'm gonna do it kind of a white. Well, we could make it busted up in some areas. Yeah, I could. Any other things we missed? Um, no, I think that's it. it I, my hands are really dried out from, uh, oh my gosh. from mudding yesterday. I Our had to apply hands. some of Gina's a fruity lotion, so my <laughs> hands smelled like fruit when I was eating my chips last night. <laughs> I was like, potato chip strawberry lotion. That's a new one. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys.